Assassin's Creed Shadows team drops a message for the ja for our Japanese community. So if you guys don't know that there's a whole thing that happened with uh, what's it called uh, the people in Japan were getting extremely upset at um, yeah, the the portrayal of uh, Yasuke saying that he's a samurai, and it was all stems from Thomas Lockley, who was a um, a, a a fictional writer that basically boosted Yasuke's um, you know I guess his his background and basically made him a samurai, even though that was not true, and he basically made that shit up, basically made it up. Now, Assassin's Creed official Twitter account right over here, so says to our steamed Japanese community a message from the Assassin's Creed Shadows development team. First, we want to express our heart heartfelt thanks to your all your support for Assassin's Creed Shadow series. Sorry, Assassin's Creed series, which now has its own history spanning almost 20 years. Over this time, we have explored various settings, time periods, and characters from an assassin during the Third Crusade to a Viking to the 9th century England and countless more. For many of our team creating an Assassin's Creed game in Feudal Japan has been a long cherished dream. Well, clearly you guys did not care. Clearly you guys did not. Assassin's Creed and Ubisoft, like they did not give a crap of what Japanese thought. Now, the fact that the, J the the Japanese started doing like legal stuff, like going through their like, you know, chain of act, uh, you know, the chain of commands and to get the stuff. And the fact they completely removed Thomas Lockley from the, what's it called again? The, the, the university or something like that, which is pretty damn crazy. The reason why they are sorry and they're putting out this apology, which is not really an apology, is because they're saying, sorry, you guys got mad. Sorry. We made you guys mad. Sorry, our game made you angry. They're not actually sorry about what they did. They're not going to change the game. The game is going to be coming out in a couple of months. They're not going to do anything anything about it. Is because if they were to push back and like push the date back of the release, a uh, couple things are going to happen. First, that means that means that they admit that they are actually sincerely apologetic to the Japanese community, which they're not. And second thing, it shows that they're actually wrong, which they will never admit. Right? But let's continue. Uh, since the announcement of Assassin's Creed Shadows, we have received many positive reactions, but also some criticism, including from you, our Japanese players. We share your passion for the history and deeply respect your care for the historical and cultural integrity of your hitch, uh, sorry, rich heritage. We would like to address a few points to clarify our intentions and creative decisions. Next, overall authenticity efforts. We have put significant effort into ensuring an immersive and respectful representation of feudal, of feudal Japan. No, they didn't, right? If they did, uh, none of the people would actually in the town would actually bow to Yasuke is because he's not like an emp emperor or like a king or anything like that, right? Uh, another thing is um, just because you're a um, you're a samurai doesn't mean that you, usually you bow to them, right? I At least according to what I've seen and, and what I've gathered from like other people uh, another thing is that if you actually cared for the actual respectful representation of feudal japan you would have uh basically copy and pasted one of the japan's reenactments and put it in your game You're, you don't have done that another thing is that your uh japan expo wouldn't have basically gotten uh what's it called again um roronora zoro's one piece sword as your prop all of that, you wouldn't have done, if you actually cared, you wouldn't have done that. Let's continue. However, our intention has never been present any, uh, ha never been to present any of our Assassin's Creed games, including Assassin's Creed Shadows, uh, as factual representations of history. Our historical characters, instead, uh, we aim to spark curiosity and encourage players to explore, learn more about the historical settings we get inspired by. Now, here's the thing. This is a, um historical a game based on historical facts right i believe there was a um what's it called again an ubisoft uh presentation didn't they do for the what's it called again the, um like summer games where the guy came out and talked about the sam uh you know yasuke a samurai so don't bullshit me man like don't fucking lie right that like that's what makes the community and the actual player base very upset is because 
of you guys lying. Right? I say Assassin's Creed Shadows is the first and foremost designed to be an entertaining video game that tells a compelling historical fiction set in feudal Japan. Then don't call it. Then don't call him a samurai. Right? The thing is that you disrespected a lot of Japanese people. That's why people are upset. Right? You no respect whatsoever. Right. Our team extensively collaborated with external consultants, historians, researchers, and internal teams at Ubisoft Japan to inform our creative choices. Extensively collaborated with external consultants. Thomas Lockley is not an, a, a consultant or a historian. He's a liar. He is a liar. And that's why he has been since removed from the universities. Let's continue. Despite these sustained efforts, we acknowledge that some elements in our promotional materials have caused concern within the Japanese community. For this, we are sincer we sincerely apologize. All game footage pre uh, presented so far is in development and the game will keep evolving until launch. Based on constructive criticism we have received, we will continue our efforts until we put this game into your hands and beyond. First of all, you're making a... Um, a live service sort of type game. I'm not sure if it's live service, but the fact that you are the game is $130. You're literally spitting in people's mouths. Right? You're like, open wide, let me spit in your mouth and give you herpes. Is because that's what Assassin's Creed and Ubisoft are planning to do. Right? They apologize not for misrepresenting the game and misrepresenting Japanese culture. They are apologizing is because they're being called out. They have to issue this fake apology uh, see we also want to clarify that while we have been consulting with many people throughout the development process they are in no way responsible for the decisions that are taken by the creative teams in the interest of gameplay and entertainment yeah ubisoft is 100 at fault here they 100 are and this 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 does not really feel sincere even though they say that we're sincerely apologize, right? It's like, we're sorry you guys got offended. We're sorry you guys got mad, right? Of course, if it's up to Ubisoft, they would be like, just sit down and shut up and buy our game. That's what they want. Consequently, we respectfully request that any criticism not be directed at our collaborators, both internal and external. Yeah, basically, criticism should be directed at Ubisoft it's because the buck stops with them. The buck stops with them. Last page. Creative liberties and historical inspirations. While we strive for authenticity in everything that we do, Assassin's Creed games are works of fiction inspired by real historical events and figures. Now, here's the thing. If it's inspired by, why the fuck did you make Yasuke a samurai? Right? If you actually legitly feel that you are trying to represent Japan in a positive way, you guys would not have given him a, 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 a the title of Samurai. Right over here. From its inception, the series has taken creative license and incorporated fantasy elements to craft engaging and immersive experiences. The representation of Yasuke in our game is an illustration of this. No, it's not. You guys are trying to uplift a person that does not need to be uplifted. Oh, there's so little writing for Yasuke. You know what? We're going to lie and say that he's a samurai is because this guy, dumb fucker named Thomas Lockley said he was. Dumb bitch is a liar. His unique and mysterious life made him an ideal candidate to tell Assassin's Creed's story with the setting of feudal Japan as a ja backdrop. Now, here's the thing. People are saying that, oh, we already have a Japanese representation, which is Naoi. If we want an Assassin's Creed and you want them to be a female, make that character a female then. Why? Do you, do you not think that a female can carry the game? Are you bigots, Ubisoft? Are you guys bigots? While Yasuke is depicted as a samurai in Assassin's Creed Shadows, we acknowledge that this is a matter of debate and discussion. No, it's not. It is no debate and there is no discussion. He is not a samurai. And 
everyone that says he is is a cocksucker. We have woven this carefully into our narrative. Narrative right over there. This is what they want to push out. And with our other lead character and Japanese shinobi, Naoi, who is equally important in the game, uh, our dual protagonists provide players with different gameplay styles. We greatly value your feedback and encourage you to continue sharing your thoughts respectfully. Yeah, you're a piece of shit. I respectfully say that you guys are a piece of shit. Ubisoft, especially Ubisoft France. <sighs> While we understand that meeting everyone's expectation is very difficult, we s sincerely hope that when Assassin's Creed Shadow launches in November, in November 15th, players in Japan and around the world will appreciate the dedication, effort, and passion we have poured into it. No. I'm not going to play this game. A lot of people are not going to play this game. Maybe people who are, will pirate the game or people who will, you know, people who are already subscribed to Ubisoft Plus, you know, so your stupid subscription plan. But, uh, but yeah, uh, you don't care. You never had care. And ultimately, you guys are just up upset that you guys got caught. Now, here's the thing, though. Given the fact that they put out this apology, should people accept this apology? In my opinion, take it with take this apology with a grain of salt. They lie, they cheat, they steal. All of them. All of them. It doesn't matter. Like we Project Agro made a video and we talked about this entire debacle. A lot of Japanese people came into our comment section and asked, why do Western companies do this and make ja uh, and basically make Japanese uh, people or just lie about Japanese people and lie about Japanese culture? And I say, and I will say it again. The reason why is because these people feel like they are at fault for, for slavery to happen 400 years ago. They feel like they are at fault for George Floyd dying. They feel like they are at fault for Black Lives Matter. They feel that they're the, the reason why everything is happening. So this white guilt that a lot of these people feel like they're a part of, whatever, whatever guilt that you feel like you have towards black people is not your fault, okay? It is not. A lot of people think it is, but it's not, all right? It's something that you cannot change. It happened 400 years ago. Oh, but the thing is that it's racism is still happening today. Yes, racism is happening throughout the entire world. Are you going to talk about that? No, you guys are not. It's because it's easy. This, this, this is low-hanging fruit, right? Oh, black people, everyone's talking about BLM. Let's make this shit because this game has probably been, been in production for like five or six years, maybe. Maybe four years. And what happened four years ago? George Floyd. It's so stupid, man, in my opinion. It's like you basically don't care about Japanese culture, right? Some people will be like, oh, this is fine. I guess this is fine, right? And of course, right over here, if you look down here, this is the official Japanese one right over here. I believe the translations are, um, are basically sort of the same, some sort of different. But the thing is that when it comes down to criticism, we need to call it out when we see it. We should always talk about it. Never stop, never surrender. Always call these people out because if you give them an inch, they will take 10 billion miles. They will never stop.